Stoney rather misjudging that. Played by Stubbs. Bent away from Fortune. Good save by Dean Kiley. Bent showed that it was shoot on sight. Another nice turn by Thomas away from Yobo this time. Bartlett finding Horidison. This is promising from Charlton. Romadal, though, the only player within range as the cross came over. Now Luke Young. Bartlett. And Thomas. Horidison wants it near side. Bartlett now makes a run towards the far post. Here he is. Better play by Charlton. Midway through the first half. Decent cross. Bartlett couldn't keep the header down. There's the man who's masterminded uh, Everton's rise up the Premiership table. David Moyes. Now Jerome Thomas taking on Weir. Nigel Martin looking less than comfortable. He needs some treatment here, the Everton goalkeeper. And whether there was a, a problem that was already there, which uh, he was hoping wouldn't trouble him during the course of the match. It certainly flared up again on the stroke of half-time. And Everton are going to have to change goalkeepers here. It was a quick decision. And an opportunity here for Richard Wright, the former Ipswich Town and Arsenal goalkeeper who lost his place to Nigel Martin when he was injured last season. Now comes on for his first Premiership appearance of the current campaign. Yobo. Bags of room for Hibbert. Bent goes charging forward. Here he is. Fortune happy to concede the throw. And again, Tim Cahill is tussling with El Karkouri. He now decides to move to the edge of the box. It's a quite full for Cahill. There he is. And he's won a corner off Dean Kiley. Phil Band going up well. Kiley's lost it. Oh, desperate stuff from Charlton. Desperate defending. Dean Kiley missed it completely. Horidison with the final clearance. Was there a suggestion of a handball in there as well? This time there by Carsley. Wonder whether it's going to be costly. Bartlett with a chance. Good stop by Richard Wright. That'll do his confidence a world of good. An untimely slip there by Lee Carsley. And a rare goal-scoring opportunity for Sean Bartlett, but Richard Wright did his job well. Stubbs is there, but... Stubbs makes a mess of it. Murphy with the corner. Away by David Weir. Konczewski! Yes, a deadlock finally broken! Talal al Karkouri. Konczewski with the ball in and El Karkouri first to it. The substitute makes an impact and so does the Moroccan central defender. Everton are now making a change. James McFadden is going to come on. And a sending off here. Duncan Ferguson. Just as we were looking to see what was happening with the substitution, Horidison is on the floor. Here's the throw. Ferguson 
elbowing Haridison in the face. Here it is again, clearly catching the Icelander. Everton down to ten men, just a minute after going a goal behind. Koncheski in there once more for Charlton. And Everton are really rattled. And Charlton have a corner. Horidison heads towards the far post. Ball heads near, balls to Horidison! And the points tonight will surely be Charlton's. Herman Horidison, a minute after being fouled by Ferguson, is on his feet. And able to double Charlton's lead. 2-0. Richard Wright unable to get near the ball. And it squeezes in past Hibbert on the post. Everton started off very quickly and, and you know got into their stride. Uh, were very um, bright and um, like I say, the first 20 minutes they put us under a bit of pressure. Uh, and, and also playing two days before doesn't help. Having said that, I thought we got stronger as the game went on. And the second half, I thought we were the stronger side and um, we were the most likely to score and in the end that's the way it proved. Very frustrating I imagine to concede two goals in three and a half minutes from both from set pieces. Well we scored one or two from set pieces ourselves so we know it's happened. It's, it's one of these things that happen. We've defended them very well, uh, they got a goal and that was it. You know I try just to do my job, uh, if I can score uh, I will do it but uh, the most important thing uh, to do and uh, just to de defend first and if I, if I will get some opportunity to score, I will, I will do it. What about the, the sending off of Duncan Ferguson? It was fairly close to the technical areas. It was a sending off. I've seen it on the, on the, on the video, so uh, I, you know, the referee was right on the spot and I don't think there's any complaints from anybody. I'll, I'd be very surprised if uh, the Everton people don't um, see that as a straight red and uh, you know, Duncan Ferguson will you know, get the suspension. Oh, I think we're all unanimous on that one. We'll <laughs> unanimous. In, in a moment. Um, two teams that have sort of generally outpunched their weight this season. Charlton have done Charlton it again. Four wins in a draw have been terrific. Kirbyshley has got something about him. He's turned it around yet yeah. again. And, you know, ten minutes to go in that match, you'll think it's going to be a nil nil. It's imperative now that Everton bounce back. They've had a great season. And, and you know, one defeat, you wouldn't want it to lead to two and three. They've got, you know, the next match, the next two, three matches coming up, they've got to get back on track. Haridison had um, quite a game. <laughs> an for, and the signs that it might have been handballed, this was at nil-nil. This is nil-nil, nil. and I think it is a stonewall penalty. If you look at the referee's position here, I don't think you can see anything from there. He's relying on his assistant, but from this angle here, I mean, he definitely handles it. There's no doubt. I mean, tremendous scramble on the line. They did well to get it away, but, you know, mm -hmm. <sighs> Definitely. So that's it, nil nil. Everton get a penalty kick and might change the game. And then, of course, well, we've... you know that Charlton get the first goal, and then, mm. then Big Duncan gets. He's only been on the pitch nine minutes, and this is crazy. He's, he, he's had a fantastic. Didn't season. get a There's great one... defence from his manager for oh, that. No. He's, he's <laughs> no, probably pretty. Not a lot of sympathy. Well, if you, if you look at this, you know it's just it's a throwing up the line. All right, Haridison's sort of pushing and pulling, but. You know, mm. He throws it up the left elbow, and it's the referee's got absolutely no option but to send them off. Seventh time he's received yeah. a red card. I mean, absolutely crazy. Mm. You know, you can be frustrated, and defenders are all over the top of you. But the minute you raise your hands, now it's a red card. And, and fine, of course, Horizon finished things off. For it was a great goal, but um, people have been saying about Everton's strength and depth. And Richard Wright came off the bench. It's very difficult if you've been on the bench for a long time to come into a team and, mm. and you know communicate with your back four. And here he is. Danny Murphy slings the corner in, he comes out, he misses it. He comes out there, tries to punch it, misses it. But a great strike. He absolutely pings that in. And it's been a great five matches for Charlton. Mm. And as I said, Kirby he's got something about him. Mm. You know, I mean, he seems to be down and out, and you think, well, they're in trouble, and all of a sudden, the Midas touch, and you know, they're winning matches and it will be a difficult match for, for Arsenal there in, in New Year's Day. And a, and a test now for Everton. You know, yeah, it's been going so well. Yeah, mental strength as well, that I think is important. Just as soon as you lose a game yeah. and you're at the top of the league, you've got to try and win the next one.
OK. Now with five consecutive wins, Spurs are flying higher than Santa's sleigh at present. The visitors to White Hart Lane were a Crystal Palace side that have stumbled back into the bottom three. Steve Wilson saw this one.